The monitor and control section of the iOS app lets you interact with the microbit in real time while a program is running. Let's see how this works with the simple program built in MakeCode. Pressing button A gives a smiley face, button B gives a frown, tilting turns the image sideways. The Bluetooth services are included for monitor and control to work. Returning to the Microbit app, we can flash the program to the Microbit. So here we are. Button A gives a smile, B gives a frown, and tilting turns the image. Now let's go to the monitor page. Everything we do on the microbit shows on the panel here. We can see when the buttons are pressed and the current image on the LEDs is clear. In this way, we can monitor what is happening with the microbit. But we can also easily control the microbit directly. We can press the buttons, and can alter the image. In another panel, we can store our own image and send it to the microbit. The program on the microbit is unaffected. It still behaves as before. As well as an image, we can send messages to the microbit display. So here we are, controlling the microbit directly. We can prepare as many messages or images as we like. Going back to monitor mode, we can get data from the sensors in the microbit. Here we can select the accelerometer and obtain readings for the angle of tilt. This shows the angle of pitch as we tilt the microbit up and down. In another panel, we can see the angle of roll as we tilt the microbit from side to side. Now let's see what the temperature sensor shows. The app tells us that the temperature service is not available. The reason is we didn't include this in the program we sent to the microbit. The best way to see all the Bluetooth services is to flash the sample program built into the app. Flashing can take about a minute.
Here we have the temperature. It's a rather hot August day. Finally, let's look at the microbit pins. We can define a pin as an input to see a signal connected to it. If we connect a simple light sensor, we can detect brightness and shadows. Defining a pin as an output, we can control an external device, like this green LED.